Aloha, how's it? My name is Emilio, and I was, I'm gonna to explain to you the setup that I use for a trailing hook. You can use Suji, or you can use cable, but I found out using one straight wire was the best for me. Actually, the cable that I use is, you can get them from an old throttle cable from a boat, you know? What I did is how I got mines. I took mines off of one throttle cable, or if you can find one old throttle cable, you can go to any fishing supply store and buy the thickest cable they got. The first thing I do is you gotta get one good set of pliers. And you like them with a, to be round on the tips instead of the flat ones. And what I do is I cut them about, a, about 12 inches long and I pinch them about four inches long and I make the first bend. You can start off with that right there. Start off with a loop. Okay, then I take the pliers and I hold them again. And what I do is I take the end and I bend them around about four times evenly. About four times. This guy would never come off. Then what I do is, I just bend the back and forth. Then she gonna snap clean. And you're gonna end up with this loop right here. And the loop will be a little crooked. So what you do is you grab them again with the, around those pliers, you hold them again. And you can just grab them with your, I just use my crimpers. And I just try to bend that loop nice and straight. Okay, then what I do is I take my hook and I get a measurement. In case you're gonna be doing IGF, you gotta make sure that the hooks don't line up. So then what I do is I take a measurement. I get one mark right where I'm going to make the bend and then I grab them again with my pliers and I do the same thing. I make a loop. I bend them around and try to make a loop again. See? Same thing again. I end up with this right here. So now what I'll do is the hook that I'm going to use, I slip the hook in first. end up with and then I'm gonna make the bend I use the eye of the hook like one brace and then I just lock them in place and I wind them around four times again then you grab all of lay them alongside the shank of the hook and bend them a few times until she don't break again And she snaps nice and clean. Then you can notice again the hook is crooked. Well, the loop is crooked. And what, what I do is I just take them back around. And I grab them with the wires again. And I just bend them till the hook comes nice and sure. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the hooks together. I use one thimble, and I thread them through, and I slide this guy in. The thing I like about this right here is this thing is all stainless steel, and this thing will take a long time before it deteriorate. After I get this, 
I made the double hooks and everything. Now what I'm gonna do is you take the lure, first thread them to the front, then you put on the sleeve. And with the rig that we just made, you thread them through the line saver. And then what I do is I thread the other end through the sleeve. Then what I do is I get the lighter and I burn the end. Just kind of make them so it's on flat, blunt end. So in case you try slide through, gonna get stuck right there. Then you straighten up everything. And then you slide your sleeve down. Right up to the line saver. And I, I usually like leave just about a 16th sticky past the end. Then what I do is when I crimp them, I make sure I, I don't crimp all the way to the end. Crimp them down tight. Again. And then if you look at them, you can see the ends is kind of like flared out, which is what you like. That way what happens, if you creep them too close to the end, then she can pinch down on a line, and you get an easier chance of wearing that line right there. And what I normally do is, after I crimp them, that middle part right here, get like a little lump. What I do is I, I center them, and I creep that guy down. So it's nice and flush, all even. For some reason, I fought some big fish and I broke my line right in. I don't know, should be cut right inside the middle. So now what I do is, I smash them all down. So it holds the whole line evenly. It's sometimes when they, the hook's kind of like moving around, they, they might get tangled. And I made these little rings right here. Yeah, what you can do is you can slide this on right here. Yeah. I slide them on. Usually if you put them on before, it would be more easy. Set them all up nice and straight. Right there. Aloha, my name is Amelia. Thank you for watching. Check back at MauiFishingSecrets.com for more tips and secrets. Aloha.